Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to set a custom mouse cursor inside Roblox Studio. If you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let's begin. So to add a custom cursor inside Roblox Studio, first of all, we need to create the cursor itself. So I'm going to be creating my cursor inside of Adobe Photoshop. And I'm going to create a file with 800 by 800 pixels. Now we're just going to look for a cursor okay yeah that's it i'm gonna copy and paste this make it a little bit smaller and i'm just gonna change the background color to something like black so i can just see the cursor uh, more clearly and i'm just gonna delete the background and i'm gonna erase this text from here too and i'm gonna add a gradient onto the cursor Okay, so I finished making my cursor. Now, before you export it, make sure that your background is transparent so we can just hide our layer. And there we go, we get a transparent background. Now, we're going to only export our cursor. So, let's just export this real quick. Now, go on to Roblox.com, go on to create, go on to decals, and just upload your cursor from here. And I'm gonna name it Custom Cursor and I'm just gonna upload it. Now go on to start a GUI and add in a local script into it. And now go on to toolbox. If you can't see the toolbox, go on to view and just click on to toolbox. And now from here, go on to inventory, go on to my images and just right click onto your cursor and click on to copy as tidy. And we're gonna type in local mouse equals to game dot players dot local get mouse and brackets and we're gonna come down two times and we're gonna type in mouse dot icon equals to and um, double double quotes rbx asset id and double columns and double slash and we're just gonna paste the code that we just copied and now let's just close it and let's test it out and there we go we have our cursor i have no idea why it's so big you can adjust the size according to your need you could do that from scripting or from photoshop or photopia or whatever editor that you're using from that itself too if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye